if not more. And um, so they only had the clothes that they were expecting to be wearing home on Friday and their hand luggage. Oh, so gosh. So they had no oh. change of clothes or anything. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. So they had to go what? back to work yesterday. Oh. <laughs> so, there was anyway. A, there, was, there was a guy on one group the other day and he said, oh, I can't stop. I've got to go to the airport, meet my daughter. This is it. He's in Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> meet oh. my daughter. She's flying over from Dublin, but there's a 200 mile an hour tailwind. So she's likely to get here a bit quicker. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Can't imagine oh. traveling in that. It would be awful. Oh, did you see those planes landing and they were blowing? I, I, tried, I tried not to. Oh, God. <laughs> it was a bit awkward, wasn't it? Oh. They I love it. Think. Those pilots absolutely adore that. Oh, yeah, frighten the all pilot, the passengers. <laughs> the, the pilot um, who flew the plane back into Bournemouth from the um, Caribbean cruise, he said it was the worst landing he'd had oh, in wow. years. So it was really, really, really bumpy. He just said basically, um <coughs> they were all they were all talking to the, the pilot afterwards they sort of made a meet and greet as they were coming off the pilot was you know thanking them all and they were all mm. hugging him and thanking him <laughs> and he <laughs> said it was literally a case of come down and then just drop onto the tarmac he said it was an all incredible bang as they went down and they bounced and they went back up and they bounced back down again oh god he couldn't, he couldn't <laughs> risk landing at the beginning of the runway um, because if he bounced, he could have bounced over onto the road. <laughs> oh gosh! So we had to go further down the runway and literally just drop. But anyway, all's well that ends well. They're all home safe. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah. So we all had our heart in our mouths all day, waiting to hear news and mm. following the airport was, traffic I thing. Just, I was naughty just now. You were naughty. I can't believe that. I think it was <laughs> Anne sent me a thing saying that she's um, <laughs> got to go to the doctors. Oh, yeah. Her, um, yeah. I don't think I can zoom this up. It's okay. It'll go. <laughs> so I replied to her. <laughs> I, replied, oh, <laughs> I replied to her um, thing saying, you know, take care. But I put a gif on as well. I just hang on, I'll show you this. this is quite, it, it should be able to um, share it. <laughs> it's making me laugh, and I've seen it. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh, my God. But he's sticking it. She said, I, I won't be here this morning. I'm going to the doctor's. <laughs> So in, oh, mess in the messenger, it's got the GIF thing, and if you it comes up with it, was search what thing, and I put doctor, <laughs> and that came up. Wow. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> he looks so sinister, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Look a bit sinister. It's ironic, really, because I've got um, Mr. Bean on my palette repainting it. Oh, <laughs> I resketched it. It was Sunday afternoon, Sunday. But I looked at mine, and the more I thought, I remember saying at the time, you know, that's more like I mean, Ant, Ant off of Ant and Depp than it does Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> so when I analysed the sketch, I I'd sketched it. His face was too too podgy. So um, oh. I'm never go at him. I hate. It. I've got three. That'll be the three that I've got that I'm working on again. One is that one, Mr. B. Uh, I nearly said Kathy Kirby, but it's Diana Doors. Oh. I've, I've worked on, I've got more to do on that one. Um, um, Kathy Staff. Um, and, uh, Kathy Staff. Trouble is to stick them in the bath and wash it off, and it's <coughs> the same. 
you know, you've got mm. still that background stain and you can't seem to put nice colour on the top. So it's almost like a, a redraw. You have to do it all again. <laughs> so, I do think you've done something clever this morning with your background because you're in focus oh, and everything yeah. else is out of focus and you haven't put on a, an artificial background. Oh, no, what, what you do is if you go in the bottom, it might not be different on your thing. If you go to the bottom where it says stop video or video thing, there's yeah. a little arrow. If you hit, hit the arrow, it's got then video, video settings. Yes. One of them is background and filters. Uh -huh. The second one, first one is usually none. The second one is blur. So it's the normal camera background, but you just hit, and it blurs it a bit. Right. I, I just have none. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I, I I usually have none, but I just thought oh, today where oh. I was in another meeting or group the other week the other day I put um a background picture of Einstein one of my pictures I sometimes do that just in case there's a customer out there. Uh, it's like that um, kitchen advert, isn't it? Oh. When they do a meeting and she she puts a background yeah. of us. <laughs> Beautiful yeah. kitchen behind her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I was in a Zoom meeting yesterday and one of the participants, he was sitting in the middle of the screen and he had two Muppets, one on each side. Oh. <laughs> it was it was very effective and very funny. Oh, yeah. Wow. Morning, Pauline. Morning. Morning, Pauline. Hi. Morning. 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 Waiting for my washing machine to finish because it's all in... Um, in the same room, so it was a bit noisy. <laughs> oh, <I'm still> <laughs> How are you? Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. You've had a haircut, Chris. Yeah. Yes, I've had yeah. a haircut. I've had the chop. I got so yeah. fed up with it. <laughs> you froze then. <laughs> I don't know whether that was me or you. I don't know. Fun mm. last. I've got a few. Name and shames. Oh. No, there's no, no shame. <laughs> I'll show you something in a minute as well from something special. Um, that was for, that was our Carol, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't yeah. easy, was it? it was no, really it wasn't. Looks like it's moving though. It looks yeah. like you've got waves. Yeah. yeah. That's it's, nice. um, I like the. I'm not so keen on the green, but I'm funny about green. I like, mm. hang on, that wasn't the one I wanted to do. That was the one. When I frame it, I put a bigger board around, make it look really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, good. Good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Changes the things completely. Mm. Is that Pauline? Did no, you use green out of the tube? Pardon? Was it Did you use still? green out of the tube? Oh. What for the um background? Yeah. No, oh. I put yellow on first, and okay. then I think, I, yeah, I might put a bit of green on the top. I don't know. I can't remember might now. Be, what um, I do. Might have been lemon yellow makes it look a bit. You could. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it brings it. It is a bit too strong. That's all. Other than that, it's spot on. But trying to get the waves with water. Yeah, that's the focus anyway. Isn't I it? did put some um, pastel on it. Oh, and then yeah. that didn't look right. I was rubbing it out. Oh, I was getting in such a mess with it all. Oh, really? my God. You learn so much doing things, just experimenting like that. On my desk, I've got a, a white pencil. I've never found anything. It's solid. I've never found anything to use it with yet. Oh. I've just bought that. You're all right on your black paper, won't you? I just say uh, it might mm. be all right on the touching up galaxies or whatever mm. inside on the black paper. I ordered, oh, it came this morning. I bought some old cigarette cards from 1928, mm. a full set of, um, they're all to do with space and solar. Space. And I thought, mm. okay. so there's really old fashioned sort of pictures in there dated mm -hmm. ones so I'm thinking my thought is to scan you know like just photograph them and I can use those as a as a basis for doing some astro pictures mm. on the black thing 
and I won't offend anyone's copyright then. Will I? No. And because they're um, they're dated like that, you get they had to do them artistically as well. So you're almost following in the footsteps and adding to it. Hmm. So that, that should be fifty cards for about ten. It's been remarkable going back and buying stuff like that. We used to always scrabble over the Brook Bond tea cards. Did you know? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And the worst ones were the Typhoon okay. ones. Mm. Typhoon tea ones were even worse. Were they? Because, yeah, they had a, a thing, a team. A, you collect so many tops or whatever it was from them, and you could send it off and get a, a colour photo and a rosette of your favourite football team. Oh. So like <laughs> yeah, boys, like mum did, mm. we were always like, we're grab I worked at, <laughs> I worked the secret route, route anyway, I just went, the woman next door and me nan had them, so I had loads of <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was always a bit crafty when it came to <laughs> Well, that one's oh, nice. Oh, colours are wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. That's Chris's, isn't it? it must be. <laughs> yeah. The joys of acrylic. <laughs> yeah. I even mm. thought about putting, I didn't know if I got any white acrylic. I thought, oh, I couldn't be bothered to hunt for it. It's going to put a bit latch on mine. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't nice. easy, though, was it? It was no. very no. difficult. Very I difficult. The sky on that one as well mm -hmm. almost a watercolor sky That's an, oil lovely. an oil yeah. painted sea <laughs> <laughs> it's very good well thank you oh, I'm lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's May. they look it's May. they look really nice when i frame them but mm. it's now like this <laughs> <laughs> well, that, no, it adds. I don't mean they look bad when they start, but I'm just saying it adds quite nice. Adds to it. Mm. So, the, um, the, that one's on paper, so it's cockled a bit. Yeah. But that doesn't matter because if you were framing it, you'd um, put it down onto this um, self adhesive backboard first and yeah. just roll it. I think I've got some of that here that I use. I use, well, I ordered um, uh, 14 canvas panels off of Amazon oh. there last night. So, because I don't like working on paper. I, I really don't. <laughs> you just get the boards, just just the boards. The canvas boards, yeah. Yeah. That's are they, what I are they quite thin, are they? Yeah. Um, I've got some yeah. here. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I well, I thought the these, aren't, of, um, these aren't the ones, but these they're like that. They're just hold but these are tiny ones, these are little little ones. Um, but yeah, you just get get them in a pack like that. Oh, can you put it up a bit? I can't see. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. But they're much nicer to paint on my phone. All my bet my better paintings are all on canvas boards, I've decided to rather look through them. <laughs> <laughs> invested in some more yeah they're um i bought remember I, it was a few weeks ago wasn't it i said I, I couldn't believe it i went on jackson's um store looking for a specific size i can't remember what it was it's about oh gosh hang on Is that? 16 by 16 inch panels. So they're slightly bigger than yours, Chris. Whopping great. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. I've got, yeah, I have got some big ones. Um, and uh, I can't, they were like, I can't remember what it was. It was a, I went on Jackson's and I typed them in because I want to do some work on them. And um, came up and the price was something daft like eight quid or something for a pack of ten wow that was cheap I've, that's what i said I've whatever it was I can't remember. it was ridiculous and I, no i think it was about four quid 
Okay. It was a really stupid number. And I thought, well, that's that can't be right. That's got to be a mistake. So I clicked add <laughs> quick, got that in me, in me basket. And, all, yeah. and I was half expecting uh, what's the name of uh, a text saying or an email saying, blah, 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 we've made an error here. This the real price is like 15 quid or something, you know. Oh. Well, they, turned, they just turned oh, yes. up. Nine by 12. Oh. And oh. there was 10 for just over 90, uh, sorry, three, how many did it say? There were 14 for just over 19 pounds. Nice. Sounds good. Yeah, that's quite a good size, 9 by 12. If it's acrylic, you don't mind about quality on that anyway. Well, no. I mean, they're kind of daubed straight over the top of it anyway. Yeah, I quite like our teaser, though. That's... Yeah, they're quite popular. Yeah. There's some I was going where, to... where I've been moving everything, I don't know, I, I think I said last week that I've, I'm doing more painting than sewing now, so I've changed my this room around which was David's old bedroom to my craft room and then um, I'm painting up here now but mm. oh god I've been dragging up paint and stuff that's been scattered all over the house and sorting it out and this morning <laughs> I've, I mean I ordered or I had a load bought a load of new brushes at Hobbycraft not so long ago and the amount of brushes that I found brand new ones oh, <laughs> no. brand new ones <laughs> still in my little Packets that are still in the box. But I've got enough brushes now. You'll ask me a lifetime. <laughs> 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 you can never have too many brushes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, something's not quite right here. So, did anybody else do a picture from last week? Was it just me and Kate? Yeah, no, I, I did one. I haven't, you haven't sent it yet. I did. Did you? Yeah. Oh. It's on the thing, on the gallery. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. You're all fuzzy in the background, Dave. Yeah, we don't, we don't like that. We don't like your no. fuzzy. <laughs> hang on, then. Has he done I'm that on purpose? Yes. Yeah. He was messing about with his background. Oh, right, right. He's gone all soft focus. I thought it was my eyes <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Uh, comment moment. Hang on. No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> lost yeah. it. You lost it. <laughs> lost. Damn it. The plot in it. Oh, oh. <laughs> um. Hang on. Can't miss out. Are poorly. No. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. That. That. <laughs> oh, yeah, Very nice. nice. Mm, it's nice. a bit like that out there now, actually. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's lovely, Paulie. Thank you. Like you say, oh. it wasn't wasn't easy, but I found it easier than last week when they were doing mm. all that different coloured sky. I got a bit <laughs> of of that. Didn't finish it. <laughs> oh dear. That wasn't the one I was. I was looking to share something else. Hang on. Ah, oh, there it is. This is about the. There's a. I've found <coughs> some images by somebody really famous, and they're. It was all portraits. Oh wow! Mm. I was just thinking, when you think Sir Peter Bloody Blake's been doing this since 1950, doodah, and sort of supersonic renowned artists and then you look at some of the ones that we do we ain't that far away no didn't what? um george do one of megan Markle once yeah know. i think he did yeah, yeah. i do remember yeah. yeah yeah but the point i'm making is we keep beating ourselves up and saying our yeah. traits are a bit dodgy oh Gosh. oh dear <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't like that yeah i like the way he's done the teeth though 
Yeah, oh, and the pearls. Yeah, and that's that really amazing. good, isn't it? Yeah. It's like green and yellow on the eyes that look horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't forget yeah. computers do, but I, I, I copied and pasted them just to see how how a superstar like. I mean, we're talking to Sir Peter Blake here, the guy that did the Sergeant Pepper album and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, right. Is that that's not is that not watercolor, is it? It is. These are it is. Right, right. These are oh. watercolors that he's done recently. Gosh, they're nice colours. Mm. Right. Mm. But it wasn't about criticizing his paintings, but I'm it's, it was more about encouraging our own. His yeah. lips are amazing. She looks like she's got cold sores, but she's been... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that it's not about, um, it's really about thinking, whereas looking at the good bits in it and taking it oh. away and neutralising it. Oh um, well, yeah, we're not we're not as bad as we think we are. No. We look at some of those. Yeah. Well, if you think, if you, if you were doing it, uh, every day, like Sir Peter mm. Blake is, we would get better, wouldn't we? <laughs> and, it, and like I've said in the past, it's not. It's a bit like um, music and all these art, culturally type thing, culturally type things. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, mm. and and having. I mean, okay, Peter Blake is a is a pretty good there's more to his bow than just painting watercolors badly or <laughs> uh, he does lots of other things but we ain't so bad as we think we are yeah. that is the target for today is um <laughs> that's not easy but after seeing the ones that i've just shown you doesn't it give you a little bit of Hope. <laughs> you know, yeah. Whatever oh. I do, it's not about producing the photograph of the subject. It's about creating a piece of yeah. pleasantry. Mm. <laughs> and, no likeness. Well, the one mm. I'm working on is the, as I do most weeks, actually, is the black and white image. Mm. Any reason I sometimes look for a colour one is just <laughs> say what colour is is how I mean oh. how dark it what colours is air the other one I was like to think is the eyes but eyes are always either blue brown or slightly bluey green aren't they you know, when I looked at when I looked at that picture I saw Kurt Douglas in it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I don't think no, the but... dimple's quite big enough. No 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 I don't know what it was whether it was the mouth or I don't know. No, I mean, as he is now old, <laughs> yeah, maybe it was just me. <laughs> when I was drawing it, I found it really difficult to, um, for his, his face is fairly just a matter of picking out a few, getting the nose in the right place and following it around with the eyes. But I found the clothes I could, on the black and white. I couldn't work out where his shirt was, where his um, <laughs> thing was. So, so I had to refer back to the, colour one for that anyway see what I mean it's like all mm. right is that his mm. shirt or is it his jacket yeah. around mm. here um because it's I, well <laughs> yeah so it's just doesn't matter anyway we'll just make it up as we go along as usual have a laugh mm. poor old Anne's not very well is she I was just going to say where are they today no, yeah. she's gone to the doctors. To the doctors. Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute, I've got a. Don't seem to be getting anywhere with that, do they? No, it's gone on too long this time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you've got this. Well, at least the COVID things. Some sort of <laughs> closure going on. My, my daughter and her partner have both got it now. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, did, didn't your son have it the other day? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seth and his yeah. wife had it. Well, they're they're out of out of quarantine now. <laughs> they're yeah. all right. Um, We're all Kathy, bound to get it, aren't we? Yeah, no, it's going to get you eventually, isn't it? Kathy had to do a test this morning because work for well, both of them because they're both chefs. Um, oh, yeah. Work said they're not to come in until they've had two positive, two negative tests. Yeah. So at the moment, or up till last night, they were both still positive. So they were going to test again this morning. But yes. Hang on. I'm looking for pictures of Kirk Douglas because I'm sure that I can see that <laughs> resemblance there. Is it across the eyes, do you think? Yeah, it's the eyes and the, the forehead. <laughs> he used to talk like that. <laughs> Me a gun. Can you um, see that picture? I know he's younger. But... He, he only died last year, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, I can see. I can I can... And then it turns out he was, um, as soon as he dooed off, the Natalie Wood family came out and said he was a perv. Um, I didn't oh, hear no. that. No, no, I didn't hear that either. No. He assaulted I wish I hadn't, her. David. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. He assaulted her when she was about 14. Oh, oh. no. But then again, he ain't, here, he ain't around to disprove or anything. No. But That is it with a lot of these, isn't it? Her mum and her sister... And, knew what was going on what went on mm. sorry chris i've blown your bubble <laughs> okay why do i i i mean it's not fair that i have to live with it on my own <laughs> share it around he was, he was 100 wasn't he was he 100 200 3 something when he died. like that yeah yeah Amazing. good genes eh yeah don't fancy living that long myself <laughs> um, what was I going to show? Oh, today, I'm not, I'm not really into painting pictures, but or are anymore. I think I've given it up. One thing I was going to show: get some clean water. Um, she always learned different things during the week, and one of them was um, producing. Uh, darks, really dark colours. And if you, I've got some green in here. That's viridian, and there's a bit. Of, there's viridian there, viridian green there, and next to it, I think it's sap green, all the other way around. Could be either either. But if you take green, can you see that all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, add some crimson to it. Get what colour you get. Black, almost black. Mm. Oh. So you can just sort of tweeze it around. Look at that. Gosh, oh. wow. that's good, yeah. It's quite a nice black as well, because you get a sort of hint of rose or pink in it as well. So it's not, how about that? I'm, I'm well impressed with that. Just learn stuff as you go along. Different artists do things different ways. I know, it's almost like a paint screen, eh? Mm. They work with um, acrylics as well. Because, yeah. as you know, proper artists don't use black, do they? <laughs> so well, that's what the, in the <laughs> world of watercolour, that is, anyway, for sure. <laughs> one, of the, um, one of the other things carrying on from the last portrait was that I bought some turquoise, tube of turquoise. It's actually called cobalt tur tur turquoise, which you can, again, using the pink, you can take a little bit of the turquoise and produce, um, where we've been heading with the portraits thing, as far as I can work out, is trying to find um, a, a sort of workflow. And what I can see of it, the consensus is to 
look for your highlights, well, your mid-tones and highlights. So the mid-tones, one of the colours that works really well is the cobalt blue, cobalt turquoise. But if you mix it with a little bit of pink or alzheimer and crimson, then you'll get a neutral colour, a neutral tone for the mid-tones which is quite a handy thing to go for. You see, because when we look at our, there's a picture, when we look at our original picture or our subject, what, we're, what we need, what we're looking for initially are all these shadowy, mid-tony bits, the eyes, round, you know, all the, and the other thing to look for, is that too much waffle, is the highlights. And the only way you can really um, suss them out is, is to sort of squint your eyes up and, you'll, and they, the shadows stand out and the highlights um, become obvious. Hence the reason why I send the black and white ones and tint them and tweak them in a certain way so that I'm looking for just the shadows and the, and the highlights and the shadows or the mid-tones. So there's, there's a, there's a a method in our madness, but a mid a, a good mid tone or a neutral color turns out is the turquoise. Really, um, you can use it quite delicately because later on, once that dries back and you've, you're happy with it, then you can put your flesh tone over over the top of it and it helps it sticks in it's it helps to you know form the the object the shape and the density what you're looking for apparently according to the expert is is not the it's not the it's not the actual color it's the hue it's not you know it's the the hue of the colour doesn't matter, it's the tone of the colour that's important. Mm -hmm. so you can you can do it in your own colour scheme, you know, you could use yellow, but if, just get the right tones of it. Right. Anyway, putting that into practice is not so fucking easy, is it? As we all know. <laughs> and of course. Deciding on the right size brush is always a is always a good start. It has to equate to the I don't know the size of the original picture. Just so happens now I've done that. I've actually mixed up um, a couple of neutral colours. So off I go. And I've pencil lined. When I do, do the sketch, I'm just looking for those shady shadow areas. But like you say, we can squint our eyes up. They're just neutral. We're just looking for, I think right from the word, oh, right from when we first started doing portraits, I, was, I found that guy, tutorial sort of guideline and that's what he was doing everyone seems to be advocating you know find the oops find your neutral tones what they call them not find create neutral tones in the mid-tone well neutral color in the mid-tones of the picture find them out you can actually tweak it with burnt sienna as well so if you want to get it to a slightly stronger darker change redder whatever you want oh i'm so nervous it's just getting <laughs> past that white paper and looking for those tone areas Really, what what you what your effective 
effectively doing is just painting it in mono colour first. Pity you can't just um, run this tutorial backwards because then that's how acrylic would go. <laughs> <laughs> In actual fact, this is that same, doing it this way is the way you would do it in acrylics. Yeah, yeah. At this stage anyway, because you would do exactly the same. To start off with, this is what makes it, um, what's the word, makes it different for watercolour, because you're actually doing it against the rules because mm. you're laying down darker tones before you put the um the skin tones and all the rest of it on can't really decide on the lips really always a difficult area as we all know you see, we're going to need teeth. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm after looking at Pe the Peter Blake one of the Queen. I'm really confident now that mine is not looking quite so bad. I I put off doing it, and I'm just looking. To say it's a bit monotonous. Looking for these neutral. Um, mid-tones, just make sure you listen, just try and pick out some of the, the highlights if we can, and his eyes, it's good to I don't think notes have I got mm, just wondering if I've forgotten to draw a bit of his hair I've, I noticed it with um, another portrait the one I did of Mr Bean I missed off part of his um, part of his hair at the back so that made him look even dafter <laughs> Funny, actually, they were on TV and, and deck on <laughs> my favourite other programme, Loose Women. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's enough of my chair, so on at lunchtime when I'm eating lunch. And uh, he, they were on there. And I I was looking at him thinking, do you know what? He, he copies, he is actually Mr Bean. He looks like Mr Bean. He's got the same... He does his hair in a funny way. He's all sort of pushed up at the back. Try and find some nostrils. Mm -hmm. How much? It's like a watercolour there when you're doing it this way. Just quite, quite nice. What we're trying to, in watercolour though, Chris, is what we're, what we're trying to get is get to a, a point where the, the paint on the paper has, it, has its own flow. Sort of, it, it flow, the, it's the, the act of, the paint and the water it flows and melts into itself that mm. makes it look um, that you get that sort of lovely effect that you, you know where it all flows into itself and mm. hopefully doesn't look contri contrived I tell you the only way of doing this um, 
of working this out is to do loads and loads of portraits. <laughs> so I'm tr I'm definitely going to set myself up to do it. More, more portraits. Since I've had this table upstairs, um, it's much nicer because you've sort of come away from the rest of the house, you know, it's a, and it's got mm. good light. And I found that I've just been doing, I, I spent about two hours just painting hands or drawing hands. And I was sort of trying to do that, draw all the different parts of the body and just, right. just give myself mm. like an hour or two a week, just mm. doing one particular. And this, this week it was hands I was having to go at, or last week, I should say. Just drawing them and shading them. Yeah, the, the thing I've got... I think the consensus of hands that I, some of the um, books and book of, there's one book in particular I bought the other week that's all about that, painting heads and hands. Mm -hmm. And um, that sort of does it, you don't see a hand you draw the shape first that's sort of a like a like yeah. a, a mitten shape really and then you add the bits too which is pretty much the same as you do to every that was um, another nice another nice yeah. one that i never yeah. looked at i think while i'm and the great faces yeah. might just add a little mm. bit of right. now i'm gonna i might be struggling here today um because i haven't got i was going to use a bit of light yellow and some call it pink but it's not it's that alzira and crimson straight rose to mix up some fleshy tones but so i noticed that the, the yellow that i i had a Thought, I thought, I'll tell you what, Dave, use up a load of yellow that's sitting there and not being used. You know, just utilize some of that. And the one that I picked up was um, Terry Harrison's Autumn Gold. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's like, wow, that is seriously. strong one of the but having that um flesh tint in our in the background in my palette just ordinary flesh is a lifesaver because you can just it's a such a subtle soft color that it can be, you can use it to act as a background base fleshy tone. I'm not going to go too much on this. I'm going to st stop and move away, but I will put some more tone in his. So I want this is paper is different to this week as well to what I'd normally. Well, what I've been using recently, it's the um, Arches French mill stuff. Um, the word on, and it's not finished, so it's a flat paper. Got this neutral tone still. I think my brush is quite. Bit too bigger than a bit bigger than I want. Hmm. We'll keep persevering. Just let that sort itself out. Ba -ba -ba. I can see Kirk Douglas in it now. <laughs> I'm really pleased about that. I was beginning to think I was imagining that. Oh. I, can, uh, I think it's the eyes and the forehead across the yeah. eye. Yeah. yeah. So if I, I'll try and put that to rights then. <laughs> <laughs> Change of plan. 
Spartacus! <laughs> That's him. <laughs> that was it. My, my favourite film, wasn't it? Everyone's favourite for quite a while, Spartacus. Especially at the end when he makes you cry, doesn't it? Mm. Where he's up on the cross and his wife and his little boy are going out free with Peter Easton off. Don't think I've even seen it. Mm. Yeah, that was his. That was his um, I don't think so. His masterpiece film. Mm. That, um, I've never really been a fan of Kirk Douglas's films, but I just liked him as a person. <laughs> I just like the westerns because he used yeah. to be in with um, uh, Richard Widmark. They they were like combatives like one would be the good cop and one would be the bad cop it's like that hang on you'd put a little bit of i'll just put a little bit of I nearly said flesh on the bones then <laughs> want to block it in really i've sort of hmm, lost a couple of highlights but that's fine and what I was going to say about this paper, I, after I bought a wodge of it, the expert says it's all right, but this, unlike um, Bockingford and papers such as that, it's sized in the middle. It, the size of the, it's all paper, watercolour paper anyway, is sized. And um, things like Bockingford, it's sized on the surface, on the top, like this stuff here. You can almost sense it. It's got a waxy feel to it. Um, whereas Arches, Arches, say it how you like, is sized in the middle. In, so it's so, the size is in between. Mm. In the centre. So the surface is, isn't so um, forgiving. Where's Carol? I need a... I've got me mop, Carol. Look out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I'm not doing the... No. It's all right. I'm not doing the background yet. I'm just going to oh. go for his jacket, actually. Oh. Gone all funny. You've gone all funny? I want to do that. I noticed Mel, James and Mel just took the, the dog sound out. sound has gone all weird. Who mine? Or is it just me? Yeah. Just, no, mine's all right. <clears throat> mine's all right. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Can you hear me? No, it was all went for just for a few minutes it, or seconds. It was just all oh. stuttery and weird. But anyway. Well, I didn't do anything. No. I'm still no, here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Looks like I've got a bit of green left in the brush here oh. it's the tr trouble with these watercolor uh oil brushes so i've said before that i keep using is they um you, you dip them in the wa clean water to wash them out it doesn't some of it retains in the brush so when you come to paint you know you've got a big blob mm. of a strenuous no, oh, I know that's not. That's because I put it in the green instead of the blue. <laughs> Take it back. I thought it was blue. That's the other blue, green. <laughs> They're close to each other on the global cir circuit, aren't they? Happy accident or glaring problem. And still feel the thing about these brushes. I they're um not, they're quite stiff. I can feel it's like scrubbing it away. Whereas normally with watercolour, everything's really delicate and subtle. Maybe I should have put some hmm, first mistake of the day, perhaps. Mixed up a bit more of the shadow. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that, that rose colour. Oh, it's yeah. wicked, isn't it? <laughs> it? Really spoils my day, that stuff. 
You only have Clash, to... Clash your ears. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. One tube is going to last... A... <laughs> going to outlive me, for sure. Anyway. Let's see what I can think up here. Let's put some shadows in. Just look for the darks of his... It's a bit strange, really, because this part of the jacket is quite shadowy, but the, the light is coming from the left, and generally. Never mind. To me, the tendency is to get overconfident, well, I find anyway, when it comes to the the clothes and all the other bits, because you think, right, I can do what I like here. It's not so intense as the, the face. So I tend to go a bit gung-ho when you shouldn't really do it. Anyway. When in doubt, get a bigger brush. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a nice, morning today because we've got the sun's not too bad out there well i'm gonna put a button there am i so i've drawn one anyway exciting bits in a minute I'm gonna decide. <laughs> i thought they'd try and do a background that had um a sky feel to it. The only problem I've got now is this like Joseph, the coat of many colours. <laughs> so, unless I can reactivate, yes, I have changed my brush to a, you know, a wide, flat brush, try and add a little bit of. Hmm. Da, da, da. And I've painted over his. Buttons, holes. <laughs> well, I'm relying on the, um, Maybe I'll pinch a bit of green off of there and just blend it in to the other side, just by, just for consistent consistency. You've got to keep reminding yourself that you're doing a bluffy watercolour. It's not a... <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've got my hair dryer set up, so. Oh, mine's flipped in right next to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be one hell of a length for cable, wouldn't it? I'm not going to spend an ordinate amount of time faffing around with this. Some more. It's a question of diddly doo though. Now then, yeah, this is part of his jacket as well, which is spoiling it. So I got confused with his. <laughs> jacket to his shirt, which I knew I would. Mm -hmm. Would you buy you? No, I think I would buy a used car for this guy. Uh, 
Geronimo was an Apache, wasn't he? Was he the one? Um, Difficult. Sitting bull, was he an Apache? I can't remember. Geronimo. When you read it, I was, when you read up about it, I mean, there's no doubt about it. The sort of, the Americans and, and us between us, or, you know, the white man, did do some terrible things. Yeah. But a lot of a lot of it, they were fighting amongst themselves. They didn't like each other much either. No, oh no, the Sue and the um, Apaches and that they were all all trying to be the best. <laughs> yeah, they could they yeah, were really sort of tribes within a tribe. Hmm. Not much changed, has there? No. Nothing's changed at the moment. I don't like what's happening over in um, Syria, Belarus, Belarus, Ukraine. Yeah. Even. Ukraine, Belarus. Yeah, well, all the um, back a while. I don't know if you remember. I used to um, do a lot for the um, the children that used to come over from Belarus. Yeah. To, uh, my sister used to have, have them stay with her after the Chernobyl disaster, you know, they were all still That's right, yeah. radiation and everything. Well, all those kids that we used to have over, they're now of um, call-up age. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, my sister especially, because she's still very heavily involved in the yeah. charity. It's, it's so sad when you look back and you see the pictures of all the kids that we've had over, mm. and now they're all of an age that could be sent to fight. When you've had them living in your own home for a month, yeah. you know, it, was, mm. it must be very hard. It'd be interesting to see how it develops, really. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking of it the other day, and I was thinking, well, if, say, Scotland decides or gets through and becomes independent, and then decides to join the Russian Federation because the <laughs> EU don't want them, then I've, I've got a funny feeling that the Brits, that we've been massing our troops on the border of <laughs> Scotland, and it's, and it's, it, you can understand their argument, say, well, we're not in NATO, we ain't going to be in NATO, you wouldn't let us in anyway, and now you're going to plonk yourself right next door to us. Mm -hmm. And I've, I read an article this morning And they were saying well, it wasn't a you don't know what's true and what ain't, but the guy was saying, you know, it's the EU that caused most of it. Because they're trying to expand and all the rest of it. So it's all shenanigans. Well left mm -hmm. alone to us mere mortals. Well, let's hope we are well left to right out of it as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite scary. Well, I think we could have another war in Europe. That's right. Well, there's going to be one soon anyway. Mm. I told you that in um, Bosnia, all that area is going to blow up again. Mm. That's, everyone knows that. Well, not everyone, but the people in politics, they're aware of that. That it's just... It's just um, just about to flare up because there's some agreements that they made that are coming to an end and all the rest of it and so you've got the Muslim bits and the non-Muslim bits and they're all still seeking retribution for what one did to the other during mm -hmm. the earlier conflict and that's all going to flare up again soon I've got it on good authority. So this Russian thing is just going to become a another. This is Europe, isn't it? That's all they've done since the word since the get go is fought each other. 
you know, talk about the English and the French if you like, you know. I've just bought a book, um, Henry V, all about Henry V. I mean, crikey. That was hundreds of years that we were bring on Agincourt and all that, wasn't it? <laughs> My horse. No, that was that was a that was Richard III. <laughs> My kingdom for a horse. My kingdom for a horse. <laughs> that used to be the advert, Chrissy, on on um, Pearl and Dean. Used mm. to come up. You'd be sat there in the. <laughs> Interval didn't it? It used to have adverts, and one of them yeah. was um, used to come up a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. And then the voice <laughs> used to go, It's cheaper and quicker by taxi, go four <laughs> double one double five. <laughs> uh, that's a hundred years ago, and I can still remember it. Now. <laughs> that would. <laughs> Pearl and then it used to go, da, da, da. <laughs> Pearl and Dean, wasn't it? Do, 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 do. Great fun. A bit like what I'm having here, really. Uh, <laughs> I'm just mixing up different neutral tones here. So I've got it's a good exercise for that because we know that um, our blue and burnt sienna gives us a a myriad of tones of grey. I think in this guy's case, I'm going to try. Yeah, there's a little bit of that blue colour. Let's put the palette down, Dave, for a minute. Okay, oh well. It's really difficult to... Is it a blue rinse? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a few of those in your time, I expect, Carol. Yeah, oh, yeah. Done a few. <laughs> God, yeah. I had some air to put a blue rinse on. Mind <laughs> you, a lot of people, that's why they ain't got no air now, because they've been putting stuff on it. All that chemicals and that. Not good, you know. What's wrong with that? I like that. Mm. Well, it's a star. Well, I don't want to go too mad because I'm going to want to sort of dry it off. It's only the, the base. I'm just doing a, a hair test to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, not, he's not allergic. <laughs> Let's have a little. Let me find my hair dryer a sec. And I can. You know, a sign I forgot. Every day. It's getting older. Going faster than a roller coaster. Okay. You only get to sing songs when Dave's doing his paintings. <laughs> I just want to dry the um the bit off so I can perhaps put a bit of a background in. I'll move everything out of the way because last time I did it bits of re reference pictures went flying everywhere and I was scrambling around the floor for half an hour. You never know what the end result is going to be until it be dry on it. Hmm. Oh, that's 
you want to split the bits of shadow and dark that suddenly arise and then make these things. Definitely a quiet taste, um, this Arshu's paper. Definitely an, an acquired taste. I think what I might do is um, put a little bit, oh, I've got it out, of that cobalt turquoise, because it's got an awful, not an awful, but a, a nice feel to it. It doesn't have to look like the um, horizon paint that I've been using in skies lately. Remember I said that um, whole bean horizon blue, which is really lovely blue sky colour. This, this um, <coughs> cobalt um, turquoise has an awful, doesn't have awful, looks similar. So I've just thought I'd experiment today and put some of it in the background with, <laughs> dare I say, a hint of the little rose dropped in, just to make it feel like he might be outside. That was my thoughts. So I've just made it damp. I'm just nicking a bit of it from the shadow part of the palette down here. Just dropping it in. Can't do that with acrylics. Let it run down and then join up the, the background to the edge of the image layer, but I just want don't want it to be, um, what's the word, hardly noticeable, really. I'll notice it now because I've put some <laughs> extra darks in, but it will. I was just thinking it could, could, be, could be sky, could be um, sort of a cloud, isn't it? So the real... The reason I did it was because I wanted to see if that, if that turqu cobalt turquoise acted like a, a nice sky colour. Mm. I think it does, actually. I'm just chasing down <coughs> little dry, bit, dry bits. Um, yeah, I think I could actually put a few extra bits in. I've got Okado coming today. <laughs> I like it when Okado come because they they do um they'll get nice sweeties off of them. I've got this. I like the sour sour chewy things. I'm a bit of mind you. I've, Skittles or something. There was some in the last batch of sweeties, and I didn't like them. Take your teeth out. Got to watch them. Yeah, when you get old, I lost it. I want to start losing teeth. Fillings. Walk around there, and a the dentist. Hello. You can almost sense the, the glee in her voice. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. It's a bit like you, you go around, get your car MOT'd, isn't it? And there's nothing wrong with it. And you can see the disappointment in the tester's face as you drive away. <laughs> Same with the dentist. If you go over and come out with nothing specific. <laughs> Get, just get that feeling and she ain't happy. <laughs> Let's see what happens here then. <gasps> I need more 
more of the the dreaded um, rose color. I'm not. I've got plenty of a bit too much watery floating around. As I say, I was getting used to this paper. It's a new. It's a new venture, really. I'm, I've never bought so much of it as this. I've got a whole pack of it to. So I thought, oh, it's supposed to be the the paper to use for portraits. So it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. I'm okay. Yep. I'm going for subtle tea rather than um the masterpiece today. Get my softer brush, flat brush. Have a look at where we're going. See this paper is the water is not not soaked in, has it? You can I can feel it. It's still there. Mm -hmm. There you go. And it's spreading, which we love. Mm. And, well, the only way of stopping it is to get a flat edge on your paper. It's because the um, background hasn't dried, that's all. I didn't really want to muck about with a hairdryer. You only got an hour. You can see the the way the paint is um, sitting that it's. The paper's causing that. It's just, it's um, almost crystallizing. It feels really strange. Very strange. I'll get used to it. It's all down to water and paint balance, isn't it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's all right. Got one hand in my pocket. Anything can happen. To say, get a portrait done in an hour is pretty good, all right? Or likeness. Just trying to fill in the gaps there. No. Let's have a look at the. Yeah, find some shadows. Try and drop them in. Get that shadowy tone over there. We'll get them. Put a bit more on there. Cool. Talk about a battle with water. Definitely got one here. Mm. Put it this way. There's no, I can't see any pencil lines at all. I'm okay. I think, well, I'm sure it'll all dry back nice. And then I'll have to redraw some of the The items back, right? There's a real. Let me find a, a dark, a little bit of green into this purpley colour. That's giving it a nice edge. 
just drop it in. This is really interesting, actually. Playing with um, with the water, with water more than I normally would. Hmm, join that. It is part of the fun of watercolour, isn't it? With a wet surface, dropping in water, uh, colour into wet water and seeing what happens. I love it. Usually, ends up in a mess, I know. <laughs> Every... It's the um, the way that's dried on the paper. There is really really a, um, different. I've not I've not had that before. I can you see it? It's a sort of it's dried, mm. sort of bobbly. Can you see it? Yeah. That's what I'm fighting against. Well, there's not much we can do with that. Well, I can't do much about it. I've just got to let it dry and let it sort itself out. Is that the, no. um, the paper itself that's lifting to do that? Because I get that sometimes. I, th I just think it's, it's stretched. It's not lifting. It's just there's something about the size, the, the feeling of the paper. It, it's, yeah. it's distressed about something and it's possibly something I've done. I don't know, maybe it's just the way the water's sitting there and, and instead of... Yeah, um, I think it's just sort of puddling in the, the holes. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I'm okay with it. It will just keep persevering. It's not so bad when you get that texture on the beach or something like that, because it looks nice. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the... That's the um, the funny thing, isn't it? Another day, you, you want that that yeah. sort of effect to happen. Anyway, let's turn them into a some sort of figure if we can. Raw sienna into. I don't know what that red is anymore. I thought it was Alzerian crimson. But I think I've used up the Alzerian crimson and gone through that into the rose colour now, <laughs> which is my favourite mistake. Just add some water into this and see what we can conjure up there. Really. Try not to stick my hand on the red bit in the middle. No, I think I'm going to try it off actually. Just got me a little dry. Well, that was the easy bit. Now for the whole fun bit. Bit of a pig's ear at the moment. Well, a lot of a pig's ear, actually. Come on. Are we, are we bothered? Well, not really. <laughs> sort it out. So I want to get a nice and start from the top, work my way down there. Mix up a nice bit of grey if I can. There's still some of that 
turquoise blue in the palette, so adding burnt sienna to it, I turn it into a, a grey tone. I think what I'll do is I'll see what happens here. Happy Basil. Yes, helps me through the day, dear. <laughs> well, yeah. I need the Samaritans. <laughs> so. A little bit of a hair do, shall we? I did notice where it's got a, like a part in. You can almost see the skin. Just looking at the black and white one, but you know, sort of thrown the color image to one side now. You can always. Had a few darks later with the rigor that will bring him back to life. Mm -hmm. Had a bit of a twitch there. Put them in gently with the top of the brush, ready for add a little bit later with the rigor. I think that could come down a bit actually. Mm -hmm. I'd already mixed up some, I had a little bit of yellow into that flesh tone and a load of water. Concentration going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Never doing this so quiet. <laughs> I was, yeah, I know. Unusual oh, just, for me. Uh, I, was oh sort of con I was just concentrating a little bit. Just trying to build up some tones, really. Not far off. <laughs> oh. I ain't going to say this is my finest hour. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Because I'll... I'll come back another day and have another... So, so I'm not, and even now, I'm not 100% sure where is... Um, Where his neck starts and his clothes stop. So I'm just making a decision and saying, well, it's there. Whether you like it or not. Mm. So I've stuck with this brush throughout, really, this um, quite large oil brush. 
maybe it's a mistake. Um, perhaps order some, um, some uh, a nice sable number six or whatever this is. Possibly. Was the the thing is later on when it dries back, then you start looking at it and thinking, well, there's highlights there. So then it's just a question of, you know, using your brush and clean paper and lifting them back off, lifting, just taking a few bits off and it, you, you suddenly get the, the lovely subtleties of the character turning up. Good experiment. Well, have a, just put some, see the problem with the flesh tone that I've got in my palette, that I'm always advocating for, um, you can use it just about anywhere in a picture, which you can, but the stuff out of the tube does tend to be, it's like, it's not, it's, it's more opaque. It's got an opaqueness to it. So when you use it on the, you know, on the flesh, on the skin, it tends to come out a bit too solid for, for what you, you know, for a watercolour. Now, I think I'm sort of rescued it a bit. Not Normally use a flat brush on this stage, at this stage, but today I'm just sticking with the with the brush. You do that, don't you? You start thinking, mm. I don't think changing it's going to help. I'm stuck with what I am. What, what, stuck with what I've got. What you want, of course, is the, a brush that holds enough paint or enough fluid so you can keep going because if I don't know, I find it all the time that I'll um I'll be painting away and I think well that's just nice that's got the nice the brush and the paint and the everything's going just feels right You just don't want to change. Keep going. Yeah, okay. One of the things I did say, so but I used green and the pinky color to give us a really, and apparently, according to my latest guru, Mark Entwistle. That's the colour that you, that, that is a good colour for nostrils, pink and green. <laughs> the bit in the, you know, the dark bit. Mm. That bit. Mm. It, it's, um, I'm kind of what he says, really. What I want is a rigger. Find a little rigger. Yeah. Maybe. And yeah, hmm. that that pink and green makes up a really nice dark tone. Start adding some makeup on. <laughs> well, it does feel like you're doing makeup really because you're just sort of putting in little bits of detail aren't you dark shadows just looking for them bit of eyeliner is that what it's called I don't know not my sort of thing I use We know you do, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, 
you can have fun building these up for ages but what i do what i have noticed is if you can just get darker um build up darker flesh tones on the eyes you know rather than just keep adding a darker variant variation of your flesh tone always have a bit of tissue in your hand there in case you want to lift a bit off Oh, I had a lovely colour then, oh, I don't know where it's gone there. Bit of raw sienna. Should help. Some days you get more water than others, don't you? You think, well, I haven't done anything different. I'm same, painting the same way as I always do. Just that it comes out different. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's always dark in there, isn't it? These areas here. Yeah. God, these portraits are difficult. <laughs> They're so taxing on you, aren't they? Don't show the whites of your eyes, Geronimo. Just put a bit of a, more of a shadow in there, isn't it? Just the same bit of shadow and just dropping it in, really. Got sort of a frame mark there, isn't it? And there it goes up there. Taking all this in. Yes. This mumbling. Mm -hmm. We're listening. I don't think, as I say, I think the, the real. I'll put a bit of that yellow in there, actually. I'm seeing a more of a yellow, or more of a, a brighter red to his sort of cheek areas here. Yeah. And this, the letter of the, I think the right hand side's the side to um, concentrate on for the the shadier side. It's the light seems to come from the right. No, the other right, left. <laughs> and just gradually build it up. It's okay. Just think Geronimo. <laughs> well, what's his name? <laughs> Kirk Douglas! <laughs> well, it's funny, really. I was thinking of someone else this morning. Along this part of this, because um, I was thinking, oh, Indians, they always throw in um, pointed sticks at people. And I <laughs> they stop throwing their bloody spears at me. So, so I, I didn't end up with Kurt Douglas. I was like Michael Caine was in my mind. <laughs> Michael Caine. Yeah, see, he's on so, that movie that he, what he did back Zulu. along. Yeah, Zulu. Well, it's wasn't it? Remember that? Oh, I love that film. Is he still alive? Yeah, yeah. He's got to be Sir Michael Caine now. Nothing cares. Yeah, I get confused with a few of them. They they all had they all have a similar feel to them. It's Michael Caine and a few others that I can't remember, so they're not that important to me. 
think I'll put um, thin. See, that's what, what I was on about just now. You're painting away and I've painted over there. I've just loaded the brush at once. I've load, painted over there, painted over there, painted up there. And by the time I get to there, I think now it's got the right mm. sort of amount of paint and water just to fill that little bit in there. Not sure about that bit there, if I should have done that, but spread it away. Now, I, I want to leave that little highlight on the lip as well. I don't know. But that's that's through looking at that picture of Peter Blake's, where that's what he was doing. What he's what he what he what I noticed in his pictures that he was leaving um, a reflection on the bottom lip. I suppose if so, now every picture that we do is going to have a reflection <laughs> on the bottom lip, <laughs> which is great, isn't it? Because we learned something where I have. I'm taking that away from looking at his picture, thinking, oh, I'm going to go with that. He has got some lovely frown um, bits on his eyes, this bloke. I think we'd all love some of them by the time we finish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, dear. I think <laughs> no one said it'd be easy. <laughs> it's not too bad actually. I'm not worried about the the dress and that because that's dried off and I can fix that. I was more concerned about getting some information on the face. I think I've paint um I've drawn it quite small as well. I'll just mix up a bit of, of dark colour. Green, I'm stuck with this now. I've got green and um, I was hearing crimson straight rose or whatever. I decided it is. And because uh, my normal one would have been is, well, the usual one I do is. Um, ultramarine and burnt sienna. But I think this is a much nicer um, way of doing it. I haven't got any, I haven't resorted to my tiddler brush yet. Mm -hmm. I bought that, it's a triple zero. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Over there, I think, yeah. Triple zero. Well, it's got about six hairs on it, right? <laughs> Say it's a sable brush. So the idea of buying that was for doing these little bits, pupils and things, little bits around the eyes. So you could really, rather than paint a, a blob of white in, you could sort of actually gently paint around them and try and put some real fine but you can see I mean this is the, the thing about doing portraits isn't it you can spend as little time or as long as you like I don't I think as I've said before I don't think they're ever finished I can't see how you can finish a water, uh, a portrait because there's always going to be something as you walk past, you'll see something and you think, Crikey, just needs a bit of this, this or that here. Mm. But you still, because you're using watercolor, you still stick to those um, methods like there, you stick a little line of colour on and then clean water and just soften it, it, it down. It gives you that lovely, subtle blend of colours that you, you find really difficult to get elsewhere. 
And if it don't work, you can just lift it off a bit. Mm. Yeah, I love that. But as I say, the, the dress stuff, that's just a matter of sticking in some highlights and some lowlights, some shadow areas, building it up slowly and tidying it up because I've where it's run. That's okay. We've got till next Tuesday mm -hmm. to fraff around. Shame about that yellow. I deliberately used that um, Terry Harrison golden yellow colour, but it hasn't stayed. It's muted back to a horrible mustardy colour, really. Let's try it, add a bit of bit of it into that red there on the top of his collar. Let's give it a bit of a glow. So you can see that'll work. Once that's dried back, we can add a little bit more. If I use a larger brush, that larger brush here, yeah. you can do the same over the other side. You can decide. Consequence, isn't it? I'm just going to put a line of paint on a little drop of the golden autumn, autumn gold, was it yellow? I think it is. I'll have a look on my way back. Just drop it in a bit of clean water. And let that flow right across into everything else. And eventually, by next Tuesday, we might have a decent jacket on him, decent shirt. <laughs> but that's the nature of the beast. Uh, I think it's, I think it's always. I think I could get away with um, adding some sadness into his eyes. Just sort of dark. Just let it sit there, really. See what happens. Definitely got a sadness in his eyes besides the well, I suppose I should get Yeah. Okay. Talking about eyes, I'm squinting mine up, <laughs> <laughs> looking at um, areas, trying to leave some light lines in it. I might um, get a fine brush and lift lift some of the um, some highlights. <laughs> Here we go, being a hairdresser. <laughs> Some highlights in mm. the top there, just to because they're white hairs, aren't they? And I've got some myself floating around. Just looking at this bit here. Yeah. I don't think it matters about that. But you can't actually see his ear over this side. I think you can see bits of it poking through some hair. You can see why I put the blue underneath was to, so that then when I sit the, the dark color on top, it retains some of that, just stuck my hand in his shirt, retains some of that under color of that, that 
nice blueness mm. shines through. Shows through even. There. I can stick a few bits with a wriggle. On. But you can't do it until you do the background anyway. It's just sitting there staring at me. Mm. <laughs> I think uh, I might have inadvertently lifted some of the colour off of this side. So I can pop back. Hmm. Oh. Hello, Mr. Geronimo. I think um, tomorrow, perhaps, or later on when it's really dry, I'm almost tempted to get some um, just a little bit of raw sienna when it's dry and just put a lot, a lot, mm, don't know. When it's dry, I was thinking of a. I just wanted to you can see what I'm, I'm just trying to do it there just to have a quick, give myself a quick preview of what it might look. Just a, a, a warmer feel to his side face. Just a, that's just that pinky colour I'm using. I suppose they call them redskins for a reason. <laughs> well, they're out in the sun, aren't they? Not like us, us pale white people. So, how often do you go out in the garden in the summer and you think, oh, I've put my shorts on, take a look, you think, nah, don't bother. <laughs> the glare is horrendous. It was great when we were at Bournemouth Gardens during the summer exhibiting because you'd sort of, because you'd, you're there every day, it only takes sort of a, the pain of a few days and next thing you know, you're sort of like a berry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and they've got a lovely toned leg, <laughs> nice red, <laughs> red legs and what have you, or coloured legs. Um, getting back to the shirt thing, a bit of clean. <gasps> what is wrong with this paper? It just sits there. Just wanted to put a, a little wash of water down for it. Just to add a little bit of the crimson red. So if I could, as I say, this bit, you know, I think he's nearly said his foliage, his clothes, oh. is going to be a sort of work in progress. Hmm. I'll just try and make it look slightly different from the collar bit. I'll go back and do the blue. Yeah. Just drop a few bits of that stronger colour in. Actually build it up. And being um, watercolour as it is, and it's transparent colour, but because I've only used the one, one stroke two colour, it won't it won't look silly. It won't it shouldn't go muddy because it's just putting more of the same colour on the same colour. So that's my theory. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can always get a little bit of oh, when you use a brush that you think all right, that's a you just sort of Go for the next one and throw it away, and then when you come to find it again, it's gone. Chase the rigor and uh, add some buttons in, and that. I'm really disappointed with that yellow though, because it was neat, fairly neat out of the tin. 
So I think if I was you, and you're going to use yellow, you stick with cadmium yellow. This um, golden yellow is all right in foliage and landscapes, but it didn't work on that. You see that brush? I washed down water and I've gone like that, and it's still got this colour still in it. Right, sink. Turn it up a bit. Um, what time is it? Twenty, 20 past. past. Yeah. What twenty past twelve? <laughs> yeah. Twenty past one. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I reckon you're gonna have a. I've, uh, this wasn't easy. Oh. <laughs> and I've still got quite a bit of. Quite a bit of what you can always tell though um, beforehand, can you? You sort of think this ain't going to be a five minute job, mm. it's a lot more. And plus, mm. the fact that trying to introduce new sort of ways of well, didn't mean to do that ways of working. Well, I wish I hadn't done that, so I think it's a way to put a little bit of tone back in, but the it's all about the method and the procedure at the moment and getting it. Da, 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 da. And I think well, I'm definitely heading that way, going down the right road. I'm not worried about his um, clothes. I can fix those up later. Well, even wash them out and say, right, I'm going I'm to attack, attack this with some chrome yellow. Because that's bloody awful, that. Spoils it for me. Right, so it's over to you lot. <laughs> no pressure whatsoever. Can I? No. <laughs> oh. well, I like that one. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's nice. It's just remembering everything you did, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think to recap, it's really the the most important thing is is not the hue of the colour, but the tone of the colour. Right. So, right, if you look at what we said at the start, was look at the, the reference image and decide, just make a mental note or even jot it down, that where the highlights are, so you can screw your eye up and just look at it, or use the black and white, decide where the highlights are, because that will tell you where the, where the light's coming from, blah, blah, blah. And then look for the the shadow or the mid tones, not necessarily the not the shadows because we do those we can do those at the end by adding um, the green and the pink, you know the really dark blacky colour that we're trying to get that I said earlier. But in the meantime, mix up a if you use just blue, um, ultramarine and burnt sienna it'll give you that neutral tone you're looking for a tone that is neutral the reason I say and the reason that I've mentioned ultramarine and burnt sienna is because they're transparent colors which is what you want that transparent you, if what I said there when I put a little bit of the ready-made flesh tint on it's not transparent it's solid so it sort of blots out what's underneath which you don't want so what you want is to find those mid-tones the shadow areas in his face um they're not they're not dark shadow areas they're just the the bits like you can see i can put sort of these little bits and the shade mm. there and this mm. shade there it's not shadow but it's a mid-tone isn't it Mm. You can see it on my arm. You can see that it's not. I'm not hanging that on. I'm not. See it there. 
It's not, yeah, it's not yeah. pink, it's not red, it's a sort of a sh bluey shadow. Yeah. Tone. Well, that's exactly mm. the same as you've got up here. So mm. if you look at your reference image and find those and look at those and paint them in that sort of bluey gray color. Um, and then let it set off. Mm. So, but the confidence is that you can, um, um, when you come to put the, the pinky fleshy color, if you like, or the dark, you know, the skin tone over the top, it will show through as the tone, as the shadow that, I, that we're seeing on my arm or, or your face. So mm -hmm. I think uh, I think that's why um, if you like sitting in front of a mirror and doing a self portrait is such a probably a good thing to do, <laughs> not to show other people, but <laughs> yeah. you can look at your own face. Oh and God! See, see your shadow bits and just paint those. Mm. Actual fact, if you do it right, if you, if you if it's successful, you should be able to do it and know who it is you're looking at. Right. <laughs> we'll save well, that for another day, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah We've well, got enough work for this week. <laughs> the next portrait is um, <clears throat> Kirk Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. So, oh. This is it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just talk like that. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> dirty rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in there. So I've seen him come out. <laughs> see, some of his early black and white ones were great. I enjoyed them. Mm. I love those films. Oh dear. Mm. I'm sorry about the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> tell it's a challenge because it's gone on and on and on and on. Mm. I didn't even realize. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of. Oh, 10 to 12, I've still got plenty of time. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going right. to say I'm going to say yeah. cheerio. I've got to dash. Right. Uh, yeah. Many thanks, Dave. Yeah. And uh, yeah. good luck, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and good luck to you. But there are some yeah. there are some good tips in there, like today. It's using that bringing that green in. And mixing that with the Alzerian crimson, and you see what you get. You'll get that nice tones, mm. and the yeah. blue with the pink gives you the neutral. So if you just take those two things pink. away, that mm. you're on you're on a really good on a road. Take right. your word for it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> bye then. Bye. Yeah, bye. 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 Thanks, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks for Dave. Cheers all. See you next week. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye.